Okay, this should not be legal. I just found a plug-in that revolutionized my mixes, and I'm not trying to be that guy that's like, hey, this one thing will help you out. But honestly, I can't believe I've lived my entire musical career without it. So check this out. It's called the Greg Wells Mix Centric. Amazing, simple interface. Love that. Love Greg Wells. I've met him, hung out with him a couple times. He's a good guy. I can vouch for him. He uh, he cares about audio. He cares about good music. Um, and and yeah, again, one of the things I love about this is one knob intensity. And I guess there's like trim on the input and output. Um, but check this out. I'm just going to show it to you because it's amazing. This is without it. This is, by the way, a, a cover song, uh, Use Somebody by the Kings of Leon. Uh, as part of a series I do on YouTube, I, I cover a song with an artist out here in L.A., um, and if I didn't mention, I'm David Francisco. Hello. Uh, so anyway, check out this. Uh, first of all, I think it's a pretty cool cover. But check out without the mix centric. Hey, someone like you. Okay, so it's cool, right? It's cool, but check this out. I mean, can you believe? Someone like you. Someone like you. Oh. Chills. Okay, now one of my favorite things to do is start with this thing on and then turn it off and everyone's going to cry. Everyone's literally just going to be like, oh. Like oh, the mix just goes flat. Check this out. Like you. Here's without. Like you. It's, like, like it's still cool, but it's just not as impactful. It gave me chills when I turned it on. This is the chills knob. They should have called it chills. Anyway. Uh, it's so simple. There's only like two things to show you uh, other than just turning it on and letting it fix everything. Uh, <laughs> so the intensity, I'm going to, I'm going to scroll through the intensity for you. So here's with like, oh, that's with none of it. Someone like you. Someone like you. It's just like heat and depth to the mix and clarity and all these things. There's a lot going on under the hood, but the interface is very simple. Um, I found that over here, it was compressing quite a bit. This is gain reduction. How much is it compressing the mix? So what you can do, if you want this intensity up here, is just take the input down so it's not compressing as hard and then take the output up a little bit. Check this out. Watch, it won't compress as much. <laughs> I don't know if I'd go that far, I think I found, I think I like it right about here with a pretty flat setting. I don't want to totally change what I did in the mix, but literally guys, I thought I was done with this mix and I can't believe I would have let the world hear it now that I've heard what the mix sounds like with the mix centric. It's ridiculous. It's it's not fair. It's not fair to everyone who doesn't have this plugin. But the good news is it's like crazy cheap on Waves and crazy affordable. I'm sorry, I shouldn't say cheap. It's just really affordable. Um, so it makes it possible for people like me and you to make professional music from whatever space you're in. This is my shed. So anyway, that's, um, that's about all I wanted to show you on it. It literally speaks for itself in the sound. So highly recommend this plugin. Again, I'm David Francisco. This is the mix centric uh, from Greg Wells, but by Waves. And I, once again, highly recommend it. Wherever you're watching this, I'm sure there'll be a link down in the description. Let me know what you think of it. Let me know uh, if you think it sounded better with it and maybe at what intensity. So anyway, again, have a great day. I'm David Francisco. Peace.